go. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, good morning. Say good morning to your friends. Okay. Now let me show to you my screen first. Good morning, uh, Katning. Not, not Nietzsche. Katning. Okay, steps to solve word problems is our topic for today. So we will solve by uh, multiplication by two digit numbers. Okay, once again, my name is Teacher Guapo and please don't forget to submit your attendance. I check them every day, uh, every time we have a meeting. So uh, today we will solve word problems in multiplication. So last time I show you the steps to solve word problems same thing the steps first is you have to read the the problem carefully after you read it, you have to understand the problem when you see you understand you have to know or you have to ask yourself what do i know about the problem or what do i need to find out in the problem that's how to solve the problem okay and step number three oh, sorry what's that okay uh step number three plan the workings. So we have to decide what operations you are going to use. Is it plus, minus, times, or divide? Okay, so decide what operations to use. But since we are in, in multiplication, so you will decide what operation you are going to use. It's just only multiplication. But during the test, because we have multiplication and sometimes we have addition. So you have to think what operations you are going to use oh, yeah. to solve the word problems. Okay. And step number four, step number four, you will solve the problem. Okay. Solve the problems. Of course, you have to write the number sentence or let's say mathematical sentence and then you find the answer. And step number five, checking. Okay. Let's proceed to directly to the example that you have there in your book. So the first example there. Uh, may I call on um, iPhone to read the problem in example? Please unmute your microphone, iPhone, and read the problem. Thank you. <laughs> Read, read it out. Read it loud, please. Thank you. How many passengers can seventy-two such city buses carry? Uh, again, again, please. Read, read How the. Many no, no. Read the read the story. This city bus can carry forty-two passengers. How many passengers can seventy-two such city buses carry? Okay, very good. So each city bus can carry 42 passengers. And how many passengers can 72 such city buses can carry? Okay, first what we need to do is to, to write the mathematical sentence, right? So let's write the mathematical sentence. 42 times 72 as what you have seen there in your book. And then after that, we will write number of passengers. After writing the number of passengers, number of city buses. So we have 72 bus and 42 passengers. So we will just multiply. So total number of passengers is 42 times 72 is equal to 3,024 passengers. And then we will just write the answer. Answer, because the question there is how many passengers can 72 cities such uh, buses can carry so just right there there are 3024 passengers okay okay now here in letter a <clears throat> uh, who wants to read letter a who can read letter a anyone from the class Um, guide, are you there?
Okay, guys, please raise your hand. Okay, guys, is here. He's raising his hand. Please read, guys. Thank you. Okay, go. He can compute it. 27 multiply multiplication multiplication problem in one minute how many problem can he compute in 35 minutes and can you tell us the the mathematical sentence how to write the mathematical sentence mm -hmm. Mm. What what numbers are we going to write there? Mm. 27. 27. Twenty-seven times. Times thirty-five. Okay, so we will write here. Twenty-seven times thirty-five. Okay, thank you. Okay, after we write the mathematical sentence, we will just copy this one. J, J can complete 27 multiplication problems, just write it there. Or you can paraphrase this one to make it shorter. It's okay, no problem with me. As long as you will get the context of uh, about J that he completed the multiplication problems. Or you can say there here, each minute J complete can complete 27 multiplication problems, it's okay. Or you can write this way, J can complete 27 multiplication problems. It's okay for me. So next to this is you write here, the number of minutes. So number of minutes is 35. Okay, number of minutes is 35. And then you write here in total, because the question here is how many problems can he complete in 35 minutes? So you can say it here that in total, he can complete 27 times 35 is equals to 945 multiplication problems. So we can see here in the answer that J, okay, J is talking about, he here is talking about J. He can complete 945 problems. Why is it letter N? It should be letter B, okay? This one should be letter B. Sorry. This one should be letter B. This one here. Okay, this one is letter B. Okay, finish. Finish your writing. Okay, so this one is letter B, okay? Letter B, letter B, it's not letter N. Letter B. Okay, pencils up if you are finished in question letter A. Pencils up. Thank you. Now we will proceed to question letter B. Letter B, let me call on uh, who will read letter B. Ravinipa, Ravinipa, can you read letter B for us? Okay, so Ravinipa will read the question in letter B. Letter B, okay, Ravinipa, please. Read the question. Unmute your microphone now. Thank you. Okay, go. Sarah in invites. 
11. Again, Sarah invites. Sarah invites 11 friends to her birthday party. Okay. She gives. 17. 17 balloons to each friend. How hmm. many balloons does she give away to? All together. together. <clears throat> okay, All thank together. you so much. Okay, Ravinipa, can you tell us the the mathematical sentence here? Eleven. Eleven times. Eleven times. Seventeen. Okay, thank you so much. So we write here. Oh, where's the mathematical sentence here? I forgot to write the mathematical sentence here. So we just write here 11 times uh, 17, okay? 11 times 17. And then right here, number of friend is 11, right? Because Sarah has or invites 11 friends. So number of friends is 11. Number of balloons that she gives. So each friend receive one balloon, so... She gives 17 balloons to each of her friends. So there's number of balloons. And then so she gives 11 times 17 is equal to, so we'll just multiply the 11 and 17. So the total of balloons that she gave away to all together is 187 balloons. So Sarah gives 187 balloons all together. 187 balloons all together. Okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, Captain. So Captain reads here that there are 16 rows of teacups and each row has 24 cups. So the question here is, how many cups are there all together? How many cups are there all together? Captain, can you tell us the mathematical sentence? What is the mathematical sentence? 16 times Closer, closer to the microphone, closer. 16 times. 16 times. Okay, 16 times 24, because the number that you can see here, 16 in 24. So we write here the mathematical sentence, 16 times 24, okay? And then you write here, number of rows or you can say here you can say it here number of rows of teacups okay you can say it here number of rows okay it's okay you can see also there are 16 rows of teacups it's okay no problem because there are different ways to solve the word problem and then after you write the number of rows of teacups you write here that each row has 24 cups okay each row has 24 cups <clears throat> after that you solve the problem so there are 16 times 24 is equal to 384 cups all together okay sorry So, okay, mathematical sentence, 16 times 24 is equals to, and then there are 16 rows of teacups, and then each row has 24 cups. So, there are 16 times 24 is equals to 384. And the answer here is 
there are 384 cups altogether. What is the question here? How many cups, right? How many cups are there altogether? So we answer here that there are 384 cups altogether. Okay, pencils up. Very good. Very good. And letter D. <clears throat> Who will read the question? Letter D. Letter D. We'll try again to find student from three slash. Uh, huh? Three slash two again, three slash two. Okay, another student from three slash two. <clears throat> Newton. Hello. Newton, can you read the question letter D or the problem in letter D? Oh. There are. There are. There are. 17. 17. Sandwich on a tray. Very How good. many sandwiches are there on 24 such day? Very good. Thank you, Newton. Thank you. So Newton read here that there are 17 sandwiches on a tray, right? In a tray. When you say a tray, it means only one. Okay, one tray. There are 17 sandwiches. Now, how many sandwiches are there on 24 such trays? So let me proceed now in letter D. I think everyone is finished here. So letter D. Okay, Newton. Newton, can you tell us the mathematical sentence here? What mathematical mm -hmm. sentence can we write here in letter D? Uh, uh, 17 have 24. Very good. 17 times 24. Very good. Thank you. So we will write here 17 times 24. Okay. 17 times 24. So if we will multiply this, it will give us an answer of, okay, later. Now here, after we write the mathematical sentence, we will just write here, there are 17 sandwiches, or you can say number of sandwiches. Okay, it's okay, just like that. So you can say here, there are 17 sandwiches, or you can write here, there are, or number of sandwiches is 17 sandwiches, it's okay. Okay, it up, it's up to you, how do you write the, the sentence? It's okay for me, no problem with that. Now, after we write the number of sandwiches, we will write the number of days. How many sandwiches are there on 24 such trays? Right? Uh, how many sandwiches are there on 24 such trays? Four. Why is it days? Uh, it's, this one should be trays, huh? not days. This one is trays. Okay, trays, not days. Let me correct this one. This one is tray, such trays, not days. Okay, this one is trays. So let me edit first. Let me cross it out. And let me write here the word trays. Okay. So the word here is such trays, not days. And here also, this is trays. Okay, thank you. This one must be small letter T. So let me write here, um, tray, small letter T, okay. There are 24 trays. So the answer here, we just write here, so there are 408 
sandwiches. Okay, there are four hundred and eight sandwiches. Because the question here is how many sandwiches are there on such uh, on, on 24 such trays? So there are 408 sandwiches. Answer, there are 408 sandwiches. Okay, finish. Pencils up if you are finished. And let me call on from three slash one to read a problem in letter E. Because three slash one, first we call the first three slash one, and then three slash three, and then three slash two, and then we will go back from three slash one. May I call on number four from three slash one to read the problem? Student number four from three slash one, please unmute your microphone and you can read the problem in letter E. Thank you. Cutting. There are 20 rows of book. Each row has 25 books. How many books are they all together? Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. I like the way you read. Thank you. Let me erase this one first. Okay. Thank you so much, Canning. So Canning read here in letter E that there are 20 rows of books. And each row has 25 books. So the question here is, what is the question here in letter E? Cutting, uh, what is the question in letter E? 20. No, no, a question. What is the question? What is the question in letter E? What, what we need to find here? books are they all together very good so we will find the number of books how many books are there all together very good so that is the question okay the question here is how many books are there all together now cunning how can we write the mathematical sentence 20 times 25 okay 20 times 25 now here we will write here Mathematical sentence, 20 times 25. Thank you. Very good. So we write here 20 times 25. And then next to this is we will write the first sentence. There are 20 rows of books. Or you can say number of rows of books is 20 rows or something like that. Or you, this one is easier. So there are 20 rows of books. After that, each row has 25 books. Each row has 25 books. And then we'll find the total. Okay. So there are 20 times 25 is equal to 500. You can do it like this also. You can write multiplication here at the time at the symbol and then just answer here. It's okay. 20 and then times here and then 25. But this one is okay. No problem. Up to you. Where, where you are comfortable with in the, uh, answering the problem or word problems. Okay. So there are 20 times 25 is equals to 25, uh, 500 books. Now the answer here is there are 500 books all together, okay? There are 500 books all together. Thank you. I think iPhone is already finished. <laughs> iPhone, you're finished, right? Uh, iPhone smart boy. Okay, everybody pencils up. Everybody pencils up if you are done. Now, uh, page 52, I will not discuss this one anymore. I will give this to you as your homework, okay? Page 52 and next meeting on Monday, uh, we will, I will teach you how to create word problems. 
okay? I will teach you how to create word problems. But for now, let me give you the homework first, okay? For your homework, <clears throat> here we go. Answer page 52 and 53. Can you turn your book page 52 and 53? So the exercises there is about checking <clears throat> that the answers are reasonable. Example, so multiplication of 89 and 15 is 1,332, right? So just write this, 89 times 15, just get the 89 here and multiply into 15. So 89 times 15, and then do the process, show the process like this, okay? So the answer is 1,335. And then you write here on the right side, the product is 1,335, okay? This is the product. The product here, because the answer of multiplication is called product, okay? So here, the product is 1,335, is greater than both 89 and 15, okay? 89 and 15. Greater than, what is greater than uh, canning? What is greater than? Greater than, what is greater than in time? Makwa. Makwa, uh, greater than, makwa. So if you say that one, greater than 1,335 is greater than both 89 and 15. So therefore, the answer is reasonable. Therefore, the answer is correct, okay? So that's what you're going to do on page 52, pages 52 and 50. So page 52 and page 53. So here in letter A, you can see the letter A, the multiplication of 24 and 36. So here we write here 89, right? In, in, in the example. Now in letter A, you just change this one into 24 and then 36. And then you multiply and then write the solution and then just copy here. The product is, so you write the answer here, is greater than, this one is 89, right? Now in letter A, you the number there is 24. So instead of 89, you write here uh, 24. And instead of 15, you write here 36. And then this one, just copy this one. Therefore, the answer is reasonable. Okay? So just change the answer and the numbers here. Answers, the product, and the answers. Okay? That's for letter A up to letter E. Page 53. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. See you on Monday. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening with Teacher Guapo. See you. You can say goodbye now to your friends. Okay, bye-bye. God bless everyone. Okay, say goodbye to your friends now. Bye -bye. Yes, yes. Uh, every time you have a homework, your homework, uh, just take a photo. Okay? Page 52 only. 52 and 53 only. I don't need A and B. I will send to you the, the link. Okay. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.